two, three, fuck it. My darling, I love you, 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 hides the applications that you don't want to use just like in ios 10 ios 10 claims that you get to delete the applications but that's not true you actually just hide them in the meanwhile so if you want to do this guys just go ahead and install hide me x go into icons go to app hide scroll until you find the icon that you want to hide or disable select it and then be sure to respring your device and in seconds the application will be hidden up next on this tweaked list guys we have the chorus what this does is that it transfers over the control center from ios 10 also with cream enabled on the top shelf gives every toggle its own unique color that you can set in the settings panel and also we have the brightness scrubber down below the top shelf we have night shift mode we have airplay and everything ported over from ios 10 right into this little neat control center if you scroll to the left you'll find a music player just like ios 10 and even the album art cover animation in the top left of the widget player which is really cool up next is the big boys this tweak is called big moji and it's self-explanatory what this does is that it enlarges the emoticons in ios 9 just like ios 10 but exactly like ios 10 if you have four emoticons it won't work the max amount of emoticons you need to get in, to get it enlarged is three so once you enter three emoticons it will enlarge and bear in mind that if someone else is on ios 9 and doesn't have this tweak it won't show up next on the list guys we have breadcrumb 10 self-explanatory again just like ios 10 it's the breadcrumb ported over to ios 9 so it's the same ui element same ui layout just like ios 10 i definitely think you guys should go ahead and check that out sticking with the keyboards we have ios 10 keyboard emojis everything is self-explanatory it's not a big deal what this does is that it ports over all the official ios 10 emojis such as the new water gun one and also we have the constructor one all the new boy and girl emoticons and here's an example of when you enter four emoticons it will remain small but if you enter one up to three you'll get the big emoticon up next guys we have roundification i'm sure you guys saw my control center and my notification center had round edges just like ios 10 so in, in order to get this feature you just need to install roundification from cedar as you can see notification center is rounded and also what i use to get the purple notification center is printomize 3. okay guys so we've almost covered all the ios 10 features but up next we have color banners so what this does is that it allows you to customize your lock screen notification and notification banners color to match the app icon but what i do is that i use a specific color in order to get the same color scheme as ios 10 so you just need to pause the video and look at the settings that i use so here's a test notification banner right here just like ios 10 the gray background with the round effect what i use to get that is roundification remember that and last but not least guys we have ios 10 ui sounds plus with anemone so you need anemone this is basically a theme but it's a tweak so bear with me guys and just understand outside is very windy so 
all you need to do is just follow the instructions and trust me it will work so as you can see on the ios 10 ui sounds you have the keyboard tick and you have the lock sound animation so you just need to enable both of those press preview apply and let the device respring so once the device has been resprung you just need to pour it up and release it as i said before outside is a bit windy so i don't know if you guys actually heard what it sounded like but here is the keyboard sounds just listen again proves my point yet again that outside is very loud but guys if you follow everything in my footsteps you'll definitely get it up and running so guys if you like this video in any form please definitely go ahead and subscribe down below it's very easy it takes about one second and also guys remember if you like the camera quality drop a like down below and if i get over 200 likes i'll do a camera review for you guys in-depth camera review of the camera that i'm using also be sure to follow me on twitter at it's underscore chevy that's where you can ask me any question and always love tweaks peace <laughs>